If it's a night for good football and winning football, most assuredly, it's a night for strong nerves. A packed house at White Hart Lane. And Tottenham with that awesome record that you know about, unbeaten at home here in 38 European games, stretching back to 1961. And now is certainly not the time to break that sequence. One of these young players in the Andalek side, 18-year-old Enzo Schifo, number nine, is the only player in this side who's not an international. Interesting character, the young Schifo, you'll see plenty of him. His parents are Italians. The big Italian clubs thought they were going to get him, but in fact, I can tell you, he's just signed a five-year contract with Anderlecht and is due to become a Belgian citizen. Well, Morten Olsen, one of the Danes in this Belgian side, England will remember him because he played a considerable part in knocking us out of the European Championships, a natural-born leader, and Keith Birkenshaw feels he could be the real key figure tonight, the sweeper, Morten Olsen. Graham Roberts and Frankie Vercauter and the captains and a real battery of cameramen there. Spurs have never failed to score at home in a European game. And with players like Steve Archibald with 28 to his credit and Mark Falco with 21. There's another Dane from Anderlecht, that's Frank Arneson with Ajax and also in Spain with Valencia. Let's have a look at the two teams then. And first, the Spurs side. They come to the game, as we've said, without skipper Steve Perriman, who's serving a suspension. But Gary Mabbott takes his place. Graham Roberts taking over the captaincy. It's the only change from the side that scored that 1-1 draw in Brussels a fortnight ago. But added now to the uh, substitutes is Ozzy Ardiles, and he was so close to being fit enough to start the game. The Belgians were dealt a mighty blow uh, in training yesterday when their top scorer, Erwin Vandenberg, turned an ankle in training and was taken to hospital. Still a lot of experience in the side. They finished second in the Belgian first division. And as I said, the key man could well be the number 10, Morten Olsen. Graham Roberts then doing the captain's job, organising. Need for calm nerves. Here's a man that the Belgians fear was Tony Galvin. And referee Volker Rolf of West Germany gets it underway. Spurs in the all-white strip attacking the goal to our right. It's Anderlecht's 24th season in Europe. So very much for the manager, Keith Birkinshaw. This is his last competitive day. Arneson caught offside. There he is, Keith Birkinshaw. Ray Clements just beyond him. What a good record Keith's had here in eight years. In the Cup twice. In the final of the Milk Cup, second division championship. that Hopkins, the number eight, will be keeping close watch on Galvin and Abbott, and now Houghton, but an infringement, and a free kick to the Belgians. And referee Volker wrote of West Germany, I think it's Volker with a V, but he's got two West German linesmen with him. Falco. 
Marco Felix in Groom there with him. Galvin though, the cross coming in. The Graf getting it away. Abbott, Thomas. I think you were so close to sitting on the other side of the round in the final itself, Brian, instead of up here on the television gantry. No disrespect to you, but I would rather be over there. It's an offside as well against the Cowboys. It's a beautiful night for football. And their style roughly under the next tonight will be what you think, uh, Brian, to hold on, hold on, and hope to get something on a breakaway? I don't think they play any different to what they do any other week of the season. Uh, the look for the quick break. You saw a second ago they were playing offside. The blonde lad who just kicked it there. He's good player. The break. was up. Good tackle there by Hazard in the middle of the field, showing Schifo that he was around. There's young Schifo again, just 18 years old. Put on by Arneson, Roberts away. And Mabbott, the poke forward. Olsen, the Dane, the Grave. Seeking out Hopkins on the far side. Beaten by Galvin, but it's Anderlecht's throw. And the referee having a word with Falco, he was involved a moment earlier with Van der Leiken. It's going to be a throw to Anderlecht. The Brut, Arneson, Van der Leiken, beating off Stevens, and the shot easily collected by Tony Parks. Gary Stevens, cut out quite easily though by Grun. Now the number 11, Frank Arneson, the Dane, with the Carlton outside him. The Carlton. Looking busy and positive, Anderlecht, in his opening moments, Brian. They've got a problem, obviously, because. If it stays like this for 90 minutes, they're out, or, or they've lost the uh, the final. But Tottenham also have a problem. It's absolutely essential that they're going to go. Falco not getting one there. Later on with the throw. Finding Hopkins, whose job more or less will be to mark Tony Galvin. The Belgians have great fear of him. Swift challenge by Hewton, another throw to Anderlecht. Olsen, a sweeper getting forward. Hopkins charged down by Galvin. Second from the right is the manager, Paul Van Himst. And an offside again against Archibald. About 1,300 Andalek supporters are here tonight, and all but about 50 of them had seats in the stand, and Tottenham at the last moment, I think, have found 50 seats for the others, and so there are no Andalek supporters standing on the terraces tonight. Roberts, finding Hewton. But Schifo getting back. 
And a foul and a free kick awarded Tottenham's way. Hazard. Dalvin. Is that cross coming in again towards Archibald? Just wide. Well, in the moment, you glimpse two things. Why the Andalek side were worried about Galvin and how it is that Archibald has scored 28 times this season. A lovely little flick and just a fraction wide. A good move, Brian. It's a lovely move. The petrified of crosses. The wear it out place. Petrified of it. They, they don't quite know what it is to go wide in their football and for somebody to cross a ball in. I know that got a deflection, but it's still just absolutely mesmerised him. Well, we look for more crosses then, from Galvin in particular. But at the moment, it's a throw for Anderlecht to be taken by Ander Eichen. Arneson, so skillful. Now, Archibald has got the pace. There was a foul on the Belgian, Bruin. Another free kick. Hazard, Falco, missed one or two chances in the first leg with Falco. The Kautlin, a nice little touch there, finding De Goethe. Kautlin again. That's quite easy for Roberts. Slightly nervy opening, you can almost out there at the moment nobody really wanting to make a mistake but a chance coming up now and this Potts can get there good well to stop Czerny Atinsky it really looked as though that was a break it was going to be a very good one for Anderlecht but instead it's hazard but yet again the offside trap has worked worrying moment this Brian I can't believe how the two players did so badly this lad here, and the other lad stops it with his feet. The striker didn't have any idea at all. Only, of course, the Anderlecht side are without Vandenberg, their top striker, who was injured in training yesterday. Archibald clearly offside again. So anxious to get away and beat that defence, but his timing at the moment is not what it needs to be. Morton Olsen with the free kick for Anderlecht. Abbott. And Hopkins stopped, partially stopped by Hazard. And Grun, good long run by him. And no foul. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. He's changed his mind. Spurs stopped as though they thought it was. And Grun is in trouble on the ground at the moment. Hazard, meantime, finds Archibald. And now Roberts, in turn, finds Houghton. And Grun is back on his feet again. Roberts, offside this time against Thomas. He's certainly playing this offside trap, and it's a dangerous game, Brian. It's dangerous, but the sweep of the number 10, he's the first one out. Uh, he did it in our place, and he did it at their place, and they've got it off to an art. I just hope they get caught with it, because it spoils football. Well, Anderson's run was spoiled there, and it's going to be a free kick to Anderlecht. A little upset with the challenge. Anderson going through there, and in fact was pulled down by Roberts. And Frank Arneson, none too happy, but let's see what Anderlecht can do with this free kick. Schiefer is there. Played in towards De Greta, but De Greif. Played wide again, and that time cut out well by Hewton, Shifo. 
And what a nice little dummy there. And Anderlecht are beginning to look very dangerous and moving well, but that was a poor shot. And it's a goal kick. The finer touch at the moment seems to be coming from the Belgians. Roberts playing it towards Galvin. Falco's up there. Outside again. Coming towards the quarter of an hour mark. If you've just joined us, just got home from work. UEFA Cup final. It's Spurs nil and Alec nil. 1-1 after the first leg. Thomas. Archibald. Stevens. De Greta. De Kauteren. Van der Eichen. Chip forward towards Czerniatinski. But in goes Paul Miller. Arneson, good throw. Czerniatinski now for Anderlecht. The Kauteren. They claim the handball, the Belgians. My word, they might have had a case there. But the referee was well enough placed, Paul Miller. And Spurs sigh a relief. As Groom gets it away under pressure from Falco. Hewton finds Falco again, but the pass wasn't good enough to allow Galvin to go running on. Hazard. For Falco, it might run for him. And the shot is straight at Munaron. To Greta. Arneson's ball. Miller backpedalling. In a word, Brian, did you think that was handball a moment ago by Paul Miller? It wasn't, because the referee didn't give it. Um, I would have been interested in if it had happened it there, then. Well, there we are. We saw the slow motion. Oh, looks as though he chested it down. De Graeff. Hopkins. Cut out easily there by Roberts. And he's taking a bit of shrugging off the ball there, then cracked into Green. Free kick given to Tottenham. And the number seven, Van der Eiken, was anything but ten yards off the ball when Hazard wanted to take that one. a game that's going to need some good strong and firm refereeing as Hazard takes this free kick Archibald trying to get something on the turn Galvin trying to keep the ball in play but does so only to the advantage of Hopkins Hazard Thomas Hewton oh, he got himself caught up a little bit there but they get the throw Galvin's away on the left, the cross in towards Gary Stevens. But it was the Graves header, Archibald. No obstruction there by De Greuter. And a corner given. The first of the game. It goes to Tottenham, 16 minutes gone. So Archibald in a central position in that Anderlecht penalty area as Hazard comes across to the corner flag. Plenty of big fellas up from the back. Roberts is in there, Miller's in there. 
Hazard's corner, a deep one towards Mabbott, in fact. But it's Grin who gets it away. Hewton. Thomas. Hazard. Ball on that far side. Topman throw. Now it's gone across. Maybe a long throw coming in. Roberts moving in towards the penalty area. Obviously anticipating that. It's a good long throw, but it's Morton Olsen away for Anderlecht. On to Cherniatinsky. Newton. Falco. Oh, beautifully nodded down there by Falco for Galvin. And now Archibald. And now here's Stevens. The counter and a nice touch. De Groote. Arneson, not such a good touch. And it'll come for Spurs again. Stevens just kept his feet well under the challenge from De Groote. He crossed it like a centre half. Well, he's a defender, really, playing more or less in midfield. And the sad thing was that on this side of the field, in uh, a lot of space, was Mark Falco. See Archibald hanging his, or putting his head to the skies there. De Graeff. De Bruyne. And an offside. Against the counter. It's a very anxious time, Brian, for both sides. Obviously, everybody understands the Tottenham supporters now. As badly as they want to go, they want a result more. They want that cup. I think the anxiety is showing in both sides at the moment, but there's a good run forward by Danny Thomas. And a little header in, and Olsen not really getting it away. And the rub of the green for the moment. Went Anderlecht's way. It's their throw. I feel slightly sorry for uh, young Stevens at the moment because he's he's been asked to play totally out of position, and I just hope people understand he's not an outside right or a midfield player or even a striker. Hazard now for Tottenham. Thomas. Crowd enjoyed that. Got the better of the counter and found Falco. And Thomas collected it well again. Abbotts, Stevens, Falco. Crowd are willing Spurs to come forward and do something in that Anderlecht penalty area. Well, they've got a free kick. A chance to pop the ball in there now. So Murneron might have some work to do as Mike Hazard, number seven, behind this free kick. Floated in there towards Stevens and towards Mabbott. And just wide! Brilliant effort. I'm not quite sure if somebody wasn't in an offside position, but it was still a good effort. Again, they're worrying with crosses and that sort of ball coming into their penalty area. Nobody looked offside to me from there. Here's Hopkins for Anderlecht. So one or two little scares for Spurs, but at the same time, they have made a slightly better chances. Handball there by Czerniotinski, the number four. And if Czerniotinski doesn't sound a Belgian name, in fact, he's the son of a Polish miner. Wonderful support from the Tottenham fans tonight as Hewton plays it into a no-man's land. And Jackie Muller on finding Morton Olsen, the man who scored, in fact, Olsen right at the death in the first leg in Brussels. De Groote. Miller behind that one. Stevens with his header. And a free kick.
Thomas. Jenny Otinski. But now Chris Hilton. Galvin. Halfway through the first half then. Nil nil the score. And another corner for Tottenham. If you just joined us, Spurs nil and a back nil in this UEFA Cup final second leg after a 1-1 draw in Brussels. That was a fortnight ago. Here's Galvin with the corner then for Tottenham. Can they get that big breakthrough now? No, Van der Eiken was there with the header. Schifo getting it away. Arneson breaking hard, but Thomas is quick and sure and finds Hewton. Now Hazard trying to get Galvin on his way again. But not this time. Also in the stand there, next to the chairman of Spurs in the white raincoat, Captain Mark Phillips, I see there, who's a Spurs fan on a private visit, but I'm quite sure he's enjoying here tonight. Also, it's the uh, different kind of picture of him there, but in the Belgian contingent, he's one of their greatest ever sportsmen. Cycling fans will be keen to know the great Eddie Merckx, who won the Tour de France on no fewer than five occasions. He's here tonight as well. Notice how Hopkins is sticking right beside him. They put that number eight, Brian. Vim Hopkins on Galvin to try and mark him out of the game. There they are. They've certainly got to put somebody on him because this is the uh, type of thing that the Belgians don't like at all. De Graaf with that header away from the throw by Mabbott. And Tottenham's throw. Brian, Tottenham have got to be patient. The crowd have got to be patient. And you, sir, have to be also. It's very difficult. And in a way, the crowd urging them on to such a degree, I suppose it makes it very difficult for the players also, doesn't it? Oh, they're feeling everything. They're feeling... They, they can't hear many things, but obviously they're feeling the intensity of the match. Offside. Schifo. Little touch there for van der Eiken. Onside. Now, this could be trouble. Played in, but Thomas is there! My word, there was a flutter or two there in the White Hart Lane crowd. They thought Danny Thomas had made life difficult for Tony Parks, but it's a corner, and it still could be difficult. That's anxiety. Normally, he would have just rolled it back to the goalkeeper. That's nerves, and that's anxiety. Their first corner of the game to be taken by their captain, Frankie Vakauteren. Anxious moment this for Tottenham. Playing it wide to Schifo. Arneson fouled. An indirect free kick. Conceded by Chris Hewton. Schifo will take it. Hazard. And the left again. Schifo. No nonsense there, and the youngster is on the deck. And Spurs with Hazard come away with the ball. Stevens away on the right. Danny Thomas has made a run too. But he didn't quite reach him. Stopped by Cherniatinsky. Arneson couldn't touch that one. Here's Roberts. And that time the offside trap didn't work. Galvin. Archibald. Hewton. 
Roberts. Fair ball there towards Galvin. But again, Hopkins tight on his man. So Mabbott with another long throw. Except it's a shorter one this time to Roberts, who'd come up. Hewton. Now Olsen. Like all good sweepers, he's positive when he has to be. Shifo. That's a fair ball too to Fikaturan. With Czerniatinski waiting in the middle. And De Gruyter fouling there, Danny Thomas. It'll be a free kick to Tottenham. Kirtan. foul and Arneson is onside this could be a big problem but it isn't well he's quick and he presented a problem there Brian I'm not biased but I'm glad he missed it but he took it beautifully all the way until obviously the very very most important thing he missed the target goalkeeper did well he stood up De Graaf winning it, Abbott playing it back quickly. Van der Rijken finding De Gruyter. Again, that long swinging ball, but this time Hewton is there. I think now, Ryan, that uh, Tottenham survived two, what I consider reasonable chances. And I think now they'll settle down and go on to win the game. I sincerely hope they do. I think there'll be a few million sitting at home, hoping that they do as well. Hewton. Van der Aken. Offside, he was to... No doubt, no doubt. work for the linesman tonight because for this offside trap being played his concentration must never waver Archibald desperately trying to beat it and hasn't really succeeded yet somebody will have to come from behind to beat it all the fullbacks I hope will do it Morton Nelson with the free kick Arneson back to Olsen now Gruen Galvin and fairly charged off the ball by young Shifo. Half an hour gone. Spurs nil and a Galvin and fairly charged off the ball by young Shifo. Half an hour gone. Spurs nil and a nil in this second leg. Remember, the first leg finished 1-1. It does mean that if it stays at 0-0, Spurs will take the cup and that away goal scored in Brussels. And an extra row. The Catherine. Thomas. That's a good little ball. Now, get up that, Stevens. You're not offside. That's a throw. They may be tempted to get Mavid across for another long one, though, but Danny Thomas is there instead. Thomas with that throw. Stevens just flicking it on. It comes to uh, Hazard. But the Anderlecht players were out quickly at him. De Gruyter finding for Catherine. It's a really well-contested game, this, at the moment. A counter and an offside. 
I'm not so sure that it was Chenyatinsky who's got the ball. I think it may well have been Arneson in the middle. Now the game is going on now. Hazard in possession. Archibald up there. Falco desperately trying to get in there. Stopped at the last. Igren. And Falco charging unfairly into the Anderlecht defender. A free kick. It's got a bit of a feel about it now, Brian, hasn't it? It's a really beautifully contested game. Oh, it could go anywhere just at this precise time. It's absolutely essential to both sides they don't concede a goal. And that's the only thing we want. We want a goal. Well, here's De Gruyter for Anderlecht. Arneson. Another little touch on there by Hopkins trying to get Schiefer going, but it's a free kick to Tottenham. Scored against you, this fella, didn't he, Brian Schifo, with a really it, surprise goal. He it, it did, it did it their place, yes. We thought uh, we could have and should have stopped it, but he, he does well for his age. Has it now for Tottenham. Thomas. Stevens deflecting to him. Done well. Big man takes some shrugging off the ball, but the pass, unfortunately, for Tottenham didn't come through to Mabbott, and that one won't go through to Galvin either. What he did do, Ryan, he got the all-important first goal, and that settles any team down. Um, if Tottenham get a goal, it'll settle them down. But at the moment, it's De Gruyter in possession for Anderlecht. Olsen, in danger of being dispossessed by Archibald. Now Schiefold. That's a ball for Arneson, and a very, very important header there by Miller. That looked to be floating invitingly there for Arneson, but big Paul Miller was there. They certainly get the ball forward very quickly under that ground, don't they? Uh, they play it beautifully. They play it absolutely beautifully. They yes. float it around the pitch. De Gruyter. Grün. Czerniotinski, a little touch for van der Eiken. Play on, said the referee. And here's for Kauteren. And Roberts again there. A uh, little battle off the ball once again. That time with the number two, George Grün. And Grün is being called. It'll be a free kick. I was interested in Young Park's reaction then, Brian, because he was having a word with Roberts. That's the second time Roberts has been involved, and there's no need. Despite the fact the referee's given a free kick, it wasn't a free kick, and Roberts has got to be careful. Yes, Parks was holding Graham Roberts back, who at one point seemed to be wanting to go on with the argument. There's nothing a matter with aggression, as long as it's channeled. Well, I think that's what Keith Birkenshaw was saying before the start. We're looking for controlled aggression tonight. And a goal. Van der Eiken, Andy for Kaufman, De Gruyter, for Kaufman, De Gruyter. So, right on the far side for Hopkins, now Schifo. Curling went in again towards Czerniotinsky, again an important header for Paul Miller. Now can Stevens hold off for Kaufman, it's a goal kick. A couple of very good headers by the number five, Paul Miller, just when it looked as though Spurs might be in a bit of trouble. It's Houghton. 
much a ball. Now comes to Schieffer again. Down the middle. Cross coming in for Vakauta, and they're playing some good balls forward again. And Cherniotinsky, you know, the whistle had gone for the foul by Cherniotinsky on Thomas. Maybe it was handball. At any rate, it's a free kick for Tottenham. But I think I'd be, if I were a Spurs fan, I'd be starting to worry a little bit about how well Anderlecht are playing, Brian. They're beginning to have a good little phase at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, the referee's not causing Tottenham any problems. Archibald. Abbott. Schieffer taking it off him. Doing well. Hopkins. Arneson. But Hewton will get it back. Galvin. Just look how close Hopkins is to him again. Archibald, Galvin in that Anderlecht penalty area, along with Falco and Stevens, waiting for this throw from Gary Mabbott. Play instead to Hewton. There's the cross coming in towards Gary Stevens, but up well with his head. De Graef was there as well, but he must have been climbing on the back of the Anderlecht defender, Stevens, as he went for it. De Graefe. Van der Eiken. De Gerte, De Kouten. Kouten's ball. Roberts. Miller. Galvin's in there, Falco hopeful of getting in there, there's Tony Galvin again, trying to get it round Grun, there's the cross but this time it's behind. De Groote on Stevens after the ball had gone. Danny Thomas will take it. Just five minutes of the first half left. Spurs nil, Anderlecht nil. In the second leg of this UEFA Cup final, Paul Miller with the free kick. Too close to the keeper, I imagine, and it is. Arneson. Oh, and he might have given that away, but not quite. Hello. Thomas. Hazard. De Coletta getting that away, but only as far as Archibald. He's got Mabbott up there with him. Onto the left foot. Wide of a target. And the Viking. The Cowtree. Arneson, but there's Mavert away. And the next throw. something that happened away off the ball some 30 or 40 yards off the ball a yellow card for Frank Ar Arneson maybe arguing or giving his point of view to the referee that wasn't uh, called for but 
Arneson, his name has gone into the book. He's been doing a bit of moaning, I think, Brian. I think he was chunting, yes. And only, uh, only a German referee would have understood him. Miller with the free kick. Bit of elbows there from Galvin. The free kick already taken. Now, Arneson. Cheniotinsky fighting for Kauterin. That's going to be a goal kick. Yes. They've gone sweetly a couple of times. Uh, two or three, four times, actually. Uh, they still haven't put one in yet. But on the balance of the first half, who, if I may ask you, do you... Uh, for, an away, for an away side, they've played remarkably well. Do you have the odd little fear for Spurs at the moment? You've always got fears, because it's a cup tie. I just happen to nail my colours to their uh, mast, and I think they'll win. Abbots. Tottenham's throw, and Abbott's there. And in the moment, Miller will be there, having gone up from the back. And Mavitt's looking for him, but finds De Graaf instead. Danny Thomas gets it there, but it's a goal kick. Tottenham and Brian have got to play just a wee bit shorter. They, they, it, I know that they're a threat in the air, and I know that the Belgians possibly are vulnerable to crosses, but they've set themselves so well tonight, Tottenham want to take a few short jobs. Throw-ins and free kicks. Galvin. In for Hazard. Struck beautifully, but just over. Galvin again. And this time it's Mike Hazard. Agonisingly for Tottenham, just a little too high. Roberts with a good jump. And Archibald too, but it comes for Fakautura. And now De Gruyter. what the referee's given there for a moment he wasn't sure himself in the end he's given a free kick to Tottenham for the shove in the back on Danny Thomas it's real tightrope stuff at the moment nil nil coming towards half time and indeed there is the half time whistle the Belgians have moved sweetly and they've made one or two chances, but they haven't been able to finish them off. And Spurs, roared on by this big White Hart Lane crowd, are just looking for that opening themselves. It's a beautifully contested UEFA Cup final, and still so much to play for in the second half. And the Belgians in those violet shirts and shorts, attacking the goal to our right. And Grün and Roberts. Danny Thomas to Roberts. Has it? Putin. Going past Schifo. Still Chris Hutton. Stopped in by Hopkins, and it gives a free kick. A slightly generous gesture, it seemed to me, by the referee, but nonetheless, it's welcome for Spurs. Hazard will take it, maybe. Hewton and he having a little debate. It's now with Hazard. Olsen on the far side with a header. Cheniotinsky. And Miller. Galvin caught offside. It's such an unappealing part of their game, isn't it, to Brian, this offside business? 
It kills football. Um, it'll kill it in their country. It killed it in Holland, actually, a few years ago when they were doing it. Everybody was laughing and nobody wanted to watch Dutch football. It is effective if they do it reasonably well. But it's, you know, it's like somebody who you admire, but you hope he gets caught. And I hope they get caught. Mike Hazard. Obstruction there by Mike Hazard. What our people have got to understand with this referee is that in, in Germany there's, there's no physical contact at all. That's why their football's having such a bad time. And it's part and parcel of our game and a good, honest, genuine part. But when you get a referee from with outside of our a football league, then the blow for everything. Well, here's another free kick then for Anderlecht. De Greta with it. But a fall for Galvin. Shake it there for Stevens. And on again for Galvin. Got a bit of license to try his luck on the opposite flank this time. And De Graaf got an important header in there for Anderlecht. And for Carteron with a little touch. Thomas trying to just chip it forward, but hitting an Anderlecht player. And here's Frank Arneson for the visitors. Archibald, get out the lead, he says to Hilton. that fell nicely for him, Schifo doing some covering, Hilton holds him off, and the cross wasn't a very good one. Do you share the optimism of our friend Jimmy Greaves that Anderlecht don't look as though they are capable of scoring? I'm not sure whether they said they're not capable of scoring, uh, because any side's capable of getting a goal, I think what Jimmy was trying to say is if anybody's going to get a goal, it's going to be Tottenham. But do they look like scoring to you? Uh, not at the moment. Galvin getting it back. There's a long way to go. And of course, let me just remind you that nil-nil... My word, how are we going to live through the last quarter of an hour if it stays at nil-nil with the tension then? But if it does stay at nil-nil to the very finish, then Spurs will, of course, win it on that away goal scored in Brussels. Let me just remind you of that. And the man who scored the away goal in Brussels on the ball at the moment, Paul Miller. Now Mike Hazard. Galvin. Schifo. Van der Eiken. There's Hopkins. That's out of play. That's a Tottenham throw. Galvin a little bit troubled at the moment. He's limping a little bit Roberts Hazard and away he goes Hazard finding the ball forward towards Danny Thomas he ran straight into the defender though Graham Roberts, the captain again, hits straight at Hopkins. And an offside flag was up, it's a free kick. See, I think also British referees would have certainly played an advantage there. Absolutely no point in stopping for the offside with Anderlecht in possession. But Hopkins at the moment has a problem. And for the first time, a trainer comes on. I'm just wondering, as a manager yourself, how you would be feeling for Keith Birkinshaw tonight, Brian? His well, last game? Not only as a manager, I think everybody who was interested in football in our country is feeling for him. Uh, if he can go out on a high note, then there's hope for us all. Because he's one of the nicest guys in the game. I can't quite still understand why he's leaving Tottenham. Well, I hope they've got it right somewhere because I hope he's got it right and I hope the club have got it right because he's going to be a very difficult act to follow. I'll tell you, I haven't got it right. A few supporters I was talking to, they didn't know I was coming to work for you and they thought I was coming down <laughs> to throw me cap in the ring. You can tell us that that is not true, huh? Archibald on his way and Mooneron out, taking no chances, doing a grobbler but not as successfully as Bruce does, and it's a throw for Tottenham. 
has it. Galvin. Abbott, who had to be quick. And here come Andalek, Shifo leading the way. And Nabbott getting back to play it a long way back to 21-year-old goalkeeper Tony Parks. And Shifo in trouble. Hazard playing it forward, Galvin onside. Hopkins is with him. And a corner for Tottenham. begins to rock now but the corner will have to wait while Shifo gets some attention Tottenham's corner then Shifo can carry on Galvin with it Abbott and Stevens and Miller are up. Roberts is in there as well, being watched by Olsen. And it was the header by Miller that glanced off his head and went behind for the goal kick. Well, he struck a powerful header in Brussels, and it turned out to be a very profitable one for Tottenham, but not then. The two strong men at the back then have got to stay firm for Tottenham. Nil-nil, remember, would be enough. There's Roberts launching himself for that one. And at the other end, Morton Olsen doing the same for Anderlecht. Gary Stevens now for Tottenham. Thomas wanting a bit of the action. He's got Hazard available. Pace is very quick. Archibald, can he finish it off? No, it's gone behind, though. Brun was in a lot of trouble and under a lot of pressure. And White Hart Lane starts to rock once more. It'll be Hazard to take it. Again, Falco, Roberts, Miller, Stevens, Mabbott are in there to say nothing of Archibald. But it doesn't go very well for them, and Galvin tries to turn it back. Van der Eiken for Anderlecht. And back to Moulin. Here's Hopkins. Brun playing it forward to Shifo. Stopped by Miller. And Thomas just got in there. I thought for a moment that Arneson might creep in. Thomas again. leading the way he's got Archibald away on the left here and he's being supported by Hewton but that's not a good enough pass here's George Gruen now for Anderlecht Schifo Olsen the sweep has made a tremendous breakthrough into the Spurs penalty area as well it's out of play to the annoyance of the big Danish number 10, Morten Olsen, who'd made something like a 50 or 60 yard break. This place is really buzzing now. Nil-nil still if you've just joined us in this second half. And about 10 minutes of it's gone. Morten Olsen caught a little bit off balance there. Can Archibald collect? It'll be a corner. And he's trying to hold Grun off. Does he succeed? It'll be a throw, I think, and not a corner. It is. Archibald again, and a free kick. Archibald backing into Hopkins. This is really building up now. Well betide anybody who makes a serious mistake. The pressure can only increase. Can Tottenham see off Keith Birkenshaw with a European trophy? Or will Anderlecht be the first ever side to successfully defend it? They won it last year against Benfica. Here's Stevens. 
There's the cross, too high for Archibald. And another throw for Tottenham. Once more with Galvin. And the Spurs are being shouted on by this huge crowd now. Abbott with that long, long throw towards Roberts. And Roberts there too, and in the end, Vanderon gets there. The feet were high, and I think it was Gary Stevens. And a bit of pushing and shoving, and Archibald involved, and Morton Olsen involved, and the referee needs to sort it out. And he'll sort it out with a yellow card to Gary Stevens. For the assault on the goalkeeper, presumably in the first place. It was, it was a foot high. You watch it here. You know, we, young Stevens should know better. I think it was the heat of the moment, and that was what cost him a yellow card. That's not allowed where they play football, and the, the young man didn't go to harm the goalkeeper at all, but he has got a yellow card. I'm not at all sure that while we were watching that slow motion that the referee wasn't showing a yellow card to the goalkeeper also. Couldn't be sure of that one. At any rate, what we're sure about is that it's Paul Miller with the throw for Tottenham. And it stays at nil-nil. Hazard. A long ball for Galvin to chase. But will he find it? No, Hopkins is there. Well, he's kept a tight rein on Tony Galvin and will need to do so. Roberts underneath this one and wins it. it hasn't been much that he's missed in the air tonight in fairness Mabbott free kick trip by Cherniatinsky Roberts playing it towards Falco as of trying to get there but no Roberts again launching himself at it Falco going clear no, he isn't. De Graaf finds for Calteran. In turn, it's De Gruyter, and it comes off Stevens for the underleg throw. They're not getting back to Parks. The long ball, Archibald out for the game. Oh. Charged by Groom. Possibly just outside the box, but the referee saw nothing unfair in it in any case. Here's Morton Olsen for Anderlecht. Good break here by Vakalterin. Who's got Schiefer waiting in the middle. A little touch fell for Mabbott, though, and now for Stevens. Falco. Stevens to Graf. Russell had gone. When we were working together on the Milk Cup final replay between Everton and Liverpool, we thought the face the pace was pretty tremendous. It's the same sort of pace here tonight, Brian. Same sort of pace, same sort of atmosphere. It's a, it's an enthralling game. And you can't take your you know your eyes off it just in case you miss something. And I'm ten sitting up here. Miller with the free kick. Archibald hoping to get on the end of it, a mighty jump. Got ahead of the grade, but it was quite easy in the end for Munaron. The counter. -in. Morton Olsen. He's the man that could be so dangerous, making the extra man. And they scored! Chiniatinsky! What a blow! for Tottenham, a tremendous break for Anderlecht and the sweeper Morton Olsen, the man they said was going to be the dangerous fellow, the sweeper came forward, a perfect pass for Chiniatinsky and beyond Tony Parks and Spurs are behind Brian it was a beautiful goal 
It's not very often you see in English football where sweepers create goals. But I did mention right at the start of your programme that he was the guy that came from the back more than anybody I've ever seen. And he created a goal, the number 10 I'm talking about. And the guy stuck it in well. Now has it. And now a real task for Tottenham. Calvin gets it in. And it's put behind by De Gruyter for the corner. Well, we have less than half an hour. The Spurs to bring it back to 1-1. That could then take us to extra time. But first, they have to get the goal. No, it's a free kick to Anderlecht. Anderlecht leading now 2-1 on aggregate. Roberts. Didn't come to Nabbott. So Roberts for Tottenham. Galvin in for Gary Mabbott. Now for Tony Galvin. A deep cross towards Stevens. Gets his header in and deflected off a defender for a Tottenham corner. We scored three goals against this lot, Brian. Little Harry Hodge scored two at our place with headers and we scored one over there, which the Spanish referee disallowed. I still feel it's Tottenham's best chance. Well, here comes the cross. And Roberts, or rather, uh, Stevens didn't get the header in. Munaron, not the biggest of keepers. And a goal kick. Hazard came careering in there, but a counter room was there to stop him. You say you still feel the best chances, what, for crosses? Crosses and headed goals. They're not keen at it at all. And now they're, they're absolute artists at what they're doing now. They're taking two minutes out of the game and they're taking the heat out of the situation. Absolute artist. Tottenham battling away there, but the ball just wouldn't run for them. Here's Arneson, and now suddenly it's Hopkins, and he's wide. No offside. I think it, for a second he went to check the ball, and it never left the deck. But it was an, another half chance. Hazard for Tottenham. Hazard again. Out come the defenders trying to catch Spurs offside. There's Roberts trying to little chip on his own, and Hazard got in his way. And Roberts was onside, but Hazard was not. Well, that was a shame, because Roberts was doing exactly as you advocated, doing the little chip and running himself, but Hazard didn't read it quite enough. He did a little up and under, and Hazard was unfortunate there. He didn't really want to get his way, but he did. Roberts was perfect then in his execution of how to beat an offside trap. Here we are again, Brian, look. Little There's up and under. The Eddie Wearing would have been proud of that. And Hazard's offside. It's a Shifo. Come on, let's get into it. I know you've taken me to task in the past talking about substitutes, but I'm just wondering what might be going through Keith Birkinshaw's mind at the moment. Well, this at the moment, I suppose, as Miller gets it back. Dodgy time to talk about and think about bringing substitutes on at the moment. This game's so delicate, it's unbelievable. Keith won't know what to do at the moment. Not many managers do. Roberts. Towards Stevens, now Archibald offside. The crowd don't like it, but the linesman has no doubt. So you think at the moment he may, even himself, not know quite what to do? People. He'll leave it five or ten minutes. I'm not quite sure how long it is to go, Brian. How long, please? 
is about 25 minutes. Yeah, the, he'll do nothing for 10 minutes. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, do nothing. Roberts. Oh. <laughs> kept it in, no, but he only kept it in for Shifo. Hopkins. Shifo. And an offside flag. Who was right up there again? The number 10, Morton Olsen. That's how adaptable they are and how fluent they are. He gets forward more than any sweeper I've ever seen. I just wanted at our place, or even at their place, just to ruffle him a wee bit. Because he strides around football grounds as though he owned them. Arneson. Shifo. Hewton couldn't stop him. There's the ball for Arneson. Playing with great confidence now, Anderlecht leading by a goal to nil here at Tottenham. And they get a free kick. They're now halfway through the second half. Tinsky is waiting for the little chip, so too is Hopkins. Well, it's an old trick that they've tried once or twice before, and indeed it's succeeded once or twice before. It's for Catherine who lobs it up, and although on that occasion it was Schifo who hit it normally, it's Vandenberg, the man who is out with an ankle injury, who does the volleying. This is Miller. For Tottenham, a goal down. A push and a free kick to Anderlecht. Olsen. versus Hewton and the free kick this time to Tottenham Shifo kicks it away the 18 year old now being spoken to by the referee Tottenham in possession with Hewton Falco free kick again and the referee Bringing out the yellow card for Mark Falco. That for the challenge on Hopkins. It's a daft challenge, Brian. It's a daft challenge. You can't do that type of thing in the right back position when you're one down. It's a daft challenge at any time. And he's got booked. He might put himself out of another European competition if he ever gets in one again. Pulled Harry Hodge off over in uh, in Belgium for chuntering to the referee. Because that was daft as well. Archibald. Free kick now to Tottenham. It's a sort of moment when Spurs might want to hobble in there. Remember, they're without a hobble and without a Medina's from the midfield, but Hazard has battled away, and there's his little chip coming in towards Roberts. Tottenham's throw. Need to keep pushing forward, pushing the neck back, staying secure at the back themselves. Hazard with a long ball towards Stevens. It's just another free kick to Tottenham. In the far corner of the penalty area. Inside the last 20 minutes of the game, Anderlecht leading 1-0 tonight, 2-1 on aggregate. 
Again, it's Hazard with that free kick. And Spurs just force that ball home now. Just about everybody from Anderlecht are back. Roberts is trying to get in there, gets his head up. Across the face of the goal there towards Archibald, but there's Arneson holding off Archibald, and Spurs get a throw. And letting Archibald take it, not waiting for Mabbitt to get across there. Thomas. Archibald. Hazard. Get after that one, Galvin's onto it. That was a bad finish, Brian. He gets himself into a superb position here, and there's no need to do what he did. Get the target, man. He's trying to break the back of the net. Miller. Debrief. Roberts. Archibald onside. Victor Groot is there with him. Hazard. The Groot did well. Spurs warming up a substitute at the moment. Alistair Dick. A young player from Scotland who can play wide, normally down the left. But down the left at the moment is Chris Hewton. And now Gary Mabbott. Five substitutes are named, two can be used. That's out of play, that's another throw to Tottenham. And it's Gary Mabbitt is coming off. And Miller's getting booked, and rightly so. What do you do things like that for, man? Now, I was watching the substitution about to take place. Tell me what happened there with... Uh... Referee blew his whistle for a free kick, and Miller just did him. He did a similar thing at Forest Ground four or five years ago. He whacked somebody on the jaw and got sent off. No reason for it at all. I think he hit Gary well, Burton. That was a silly thing for the uh, Belgian player to do as well, having a kick at Miller. But Chifo down and injured. And off the field. Gary Mabbott also off the field. And the substitution for Spurs has been made and Alistair Dick is on Roberts oh just wide from Galvin One or two little flutters in that Anderlecht penalty area, Brian. That this is a good effort. It's a lovely flighted free kick in. Somebody gets his head to it, and that could once again be on target. And the Tottenham players have got their hands on the backs of their heads. Brian, what surprises me is that I'm not sure how many bookings the game's had, possibly five, but it's not that type of game, and it shouldn't now go into that type of game. People out there, particularly Tottenham lads, with 1-0 down, have got to keep their heads. They don't want bookings and sending offs. They want nice, controlled, neat football to get them a goal and get them back in this game. Well, Arneson in possession at the moment for Anderlecht. Well, we have 15 minutes left. Spurs nil, Anderlecht one, and the Belgians leading 2 1 on aggregate. So, Tony Parks telling everybody to get forward. Whacking it now into that Anderlecht path. Alistair Dick with his touch. Stevens with his. Archibald with his. Stevens outside. There's a bit of activity also on the Anderlecht bench. That's, that's good Johnson, the Boy from Iceland, who is to join Feyenoord for next season. 
And here's Alistair Bill. Hazard. Galvin wide on that right-hand side now. And the cross coming in, but Falco couldn't get there behind by De Griff. So Keith Birkinshaw obviously wants to play with two wide men now, with Galvin having gone down the right and Alistair Dick playing away down the left. And it's the number 11, Frank Arneson, who, like Gary Mabbott, I don't think has been entirely fit for this final. It's Arneson who'll be going off. And Good Johnson who comes on. In the meantime, it's a corner for Tottenham. Roberts with the header. So often he makes those count. And with nine goals to his credit this season, for a central defender, that's not bad going, but it's a goal kick for Anderlecht. Oh, making another change. And Ardiles is coming on for Tottenham, and Paul Miller is going off. Johnson's on for Anderlecht and Arneson is off and a tremendous roar as Osvaldo Ardiles comes on disappointed in fact when he was told by Keith Birkinshaw yesterday that he was on the subs bench instead of starting he's had so few games this season predominantly because of a, a very nasty shin injury but he's had three reserve and friendly games in the last eight days or so in a desperate attempt to get fit for this one. Well, can Little Ardiles find the spark that Spurs require now? And there's Arno Gudjonsson, the Icelandic front man. In fact, Wales remember him in the World Cup qualifier. He did a good deal to, surprisingly, prevent Wales from going to Spain. Now that time by Roberts. And Schifo again, the target. And it's going to be a throw. It's taken quite a buffeting, this 18-year-old Schifo. But I think the referee from West Germany indicated you saw there that he's also doing a bit of diving. Well, here's our dealers on the ball for the first time. What drama there would be if somehow he could find the way through for Tottenham. Falco. Galvin. Hazard. Falco, or rather, uh, Galvin now. Obstruction, free kick. Well, can Spurs do it? Ten minutes remaining. Ardiles placing the ball, Hazard behind it. Big men up from the back again. It's going to be little Ozzy Ardiles who takes that free kick. Floated there. And the keeper grabbed it at the feet of Roberts when it looked as though Archibald might just get a touch. I think for a moment that may have even fooled the keeper. But his reactions were absolutely superb. Ten minutes remaining. Anderlecht leading 1-0 here tonight, 2-1 on aggregate. Spurs absolutely desperate for a goal now. If only to take it into extra time. But there's Archibald after this one. Gets there with his head. Can Ali Dick get there? No. Hopkins is there, but it's a Tottenham throw. No. Given to Anderlecht. What do you make of the substitutions, Brian? Obviously, two wide men on now. Let's have a look at Roberts first, though. That's going to be a corner. No, it's not. Stopped by Morton Olsen. Brave wanted to take the centre-half off. That was a good decision. I'm not quite sure about uh, how fit he is and how in good nick he is, but it was certainly a good decision to bring the centre-half off. And to play now with, what, two wide men, which he's doing, with Galvin's gone to the right. Yeah, you have no choice now. You're 1-0 down at home. 10, 15 minutes to go in a cup final. You have no choice. It's forced on you. It's Hazard. Falco. Again, they have that sure touch and elect. Shifo for Good Johnson. 
and stopped, or at least half stopped by Roberts. But a flag was up for offside against Czerniotinski. The Belgians warming up still. Spurs have made their two substitutions. Hazard. And Hopkins selling a nice little dummy on Dick. And then hits it. And it went under Roberts' feet, but here's Gary Stevens now back in a defensive position alongside uh, Graham Roberts. And to try and play it wide again for Galvin. It's a good ball, it found him. Can he get past? Stevens, Ardiles, Falco, it might come for Galvin, it'll come for Hazard, and now it'll come for Archibald onside. Oh, a tremendous save from a great shot by Archibald. A brilliant piece of keeping, but a superb piece of finishing by the Scot as well. It looked as though he'd lost a chance for a moment, as Spurs now aim to take the corner. Pushed away by Munaron. Here comes that corner. Brian? Now, oh, some idiot's thrown the bottle. Imbeciles. Somebody, the referee's holding the bottle there, as you can see. Somebody threw one at our ground. We got him arrested. He got six months by our policeman, and he's banned from our ground for the rest of his life. Well, I think if Tottenham could find the culprit, they probably would feel like doing the same. The last thing that Spurs want now. Will they get it home? Falco! And it might come for Ardiles! Oh, he's hit the crossbar! Oh, my word! Almost the storybook return there for Ardiles. And he's hit the crossbar. Roberts! He's done it! 1-1! One, one. touch at the finish, Graham Roberts has made it 1-1. Brian Clough. I can't believe that. I can't believe the situation. Ardilly should have scored quite easily, and he didn't, and you're dead right when they just relaxed momentarily, thinking they'd escaped. And across it came. Again. Well, here's Schifo for underleft. What a night this is turning out to be now. Galvin. A free kick, is it? To Tottenham, it was a handball. Well, can they finish it off? Five minutes to go. And then we should get extra time if it stays at 1-1. Hazard. Can't hear yourself speak or think at the moment here. Archibald. De Graaf. What pressure on these players now. Newton. Must hold off Czerniotinski. Oh. Well, he was trying to. And stopped by Parks, an important one. It was a brilliant effort until the final uh, touch. He should have squared it. But he wasn't, he wasn't to know the centre pole was there in support. And he's given him some right stick. So, Spurs coming forward now. Hazard. Hewton. Roberts, the hero. What noise there is here. Stevens. Ardiles. Must wonder how on earth he hit the crossbar instead of the net. Offside against Dick. Getting it back. 
extra time very much on the horizon now with three minutes left and beyond the horizon another 30 minutes of what should be pulsating cup final football and beyond that who knows maybe even penalties but I'm not thinking of that at the moment certainly Calvin isn't there's his cross coming in Archibald couldn't get to it can Alistair Dick get there Shifo one youngster after another and it's Shifo who comes away Dick in a bit of trouble but Hewton's not and Ali Dick still down and injured a little clash with Shifo technically in an offside position there at the moment but Danny Thomas is on his way there's the cross can Falco get there can Archibald get there oh that looked a handball but the referee said no Ardiles couldn't stop him Stevens getting in there my word this is wildly exciting at the moment would have been a brave referee to give a penalty then I'd like to see it again Brian here we are then. Your wish is granted. Oh! Well, Galvin's on his way. Played back towards Archibald, but didn't quite reach him. A tremendous spell this for Tottenham. But now they've got some defending to do. Here's Schifo for Anderlecht. A little under two minutes left. And Schifo's on his way again. Good Johnson, the substitute's in there. Still with Schifo, trying a little chip slightly ambitious maybe Spurs aren't complaining by the break quickly they got five forwards up then in the penalty area so what to do now Brian if I was Tottenham we'll settle for extra time I was 2-0 down in Anderlecht and we're settling for extra time and we weren't good enough to get it despite everything Ardiles and Falco offside. They've clawed the way back now. Settle for another 30 minutes at the Belgian. Right, it's Shifo. On my watch, a little over a minute. It's Hopkins. He's done a good defensive job all night. Now crossing in towards De Graaf, getting in there, the defender up from the back. Thomas, what effort both these sides have put into it tonight. Hazard, Newton, kicks away on the left. Newton prefers our dealers. Now for Hazard. Lovely little dribbling run there by Mike Hazard. Archibald, oh, tremendous save! What a shot too! Brilliant strike of the ball there, and the goalkeeper handled it beautifully. I thought for a second he was going to drop it. Oh, he better gone in, look. The last seconds of normal time, a referee looking at both his West German linesmen, and it seems we are due for another 30 minutes. It's Hopkins at the moment for Anderlecht. Good Johnson, Hopkins, might be trouble yet for Tottenham, no, Roberts is there. Oh, might be trouble yet for Anderlecht, Morton Olsen, can he get it back, he can. De Gruyter, long ball forward, Good Johnson. Dick can't get there, Good Johnson the substitute, too high, goal kick. You and I are on about extra time. <laughs> In the last minute, sir, there's been two brilliant efforts on one on one goal and one on the other. Hazard. That's the whistle for the end of 90 minutes. And still, we don't know who's going to win this UEFA Cup final. 1 1 on the night, 2 2 on aggregate.
Burns will get us started. And I must say, with their two wingmen in that last quarter of an hour or so, they looked a good proposition. Let's hope they can keep that going now during this period of extra time. I'm just wondering, Brian, if both sides have brought both subs on, because I know Tottenham have. No, uh, Anderlecht can still bring one on. It's Galvin now. And now it's Hazard. And now it's Galvin, who's got Danny Thomas outside him. Crossed by Thomas, De Graaf away. That could be a corner, and it is. Clumsy play there by the end of that defence. A concentration wavered just for a moment. Spurs were at their throats and have a corner. Good time to have a corner just at the start of uh, extra time. Hazard will take it. Deep one, and headed down by Falco, and somehow they got it away, and Falco, no! Archibald was right in there, Falco was in there, Ardiles was right in there, and in the end, the whistle I'm, had gone. I'm loath to say anybody should score, because it's very, very difficult, Archibald could have scored. Unron flaps at it, misses, and it just goes agonizingly, just fractionally out of uh, the reach of Steve Archibald. Good jump by Roberts, touched by Falco. Here's Ardenas, the crowd encouraging him, and he in turn encouraging Falco with that cross. They claim handball, the referee says no, and the ball is with Chris Hughton. Roberts blasting it forward again. Let's try it on the right, but Galvin won't get that, it'll be a goal kick. A goal kick rather to be taken by Walter de Graaf. Stevens with the header and one by Van der Eiken. Now Schifo flicked on again for Cherniatinsky. Stevens is back. Roberts has it. for Archibald in turn can he find Falco the referee has blown for a free kick but it's a free kick to Anderlecht for some shoving by Mark Falco <laughs> Stevens getting it away Hazard to Hewton and Roberts. Olsen, Carter, now Olsen, Shifo, Carter, good spell this by Anderlecht, and a good break for Carter now making the extra man, a good cross coming in towards Olsen again, and Shifo, oh my word, and Johnson stuck his foot out, if he'd been on his feet and a yard closer to the goal, it would have been a simple tap-in. But again, it was Morton Olsen, the big Dane from the back, who came up and made a very, very important header. Ardenas, looking his way through, down he goes, it's a free kick. Hazard. Thomas. Thomas. 
again it's away to the Johnson Hopkins to Cheniatinsky has it again the Johnson's after him free kick to Tottenham already taken has it on the ball Galvin's away on this right flank a lovely ball by Hazard straight to his feet crowd urging Galvin to get down that flank we a good cross but Muller on there one end to the other for counter and now for Anderlecht Jenny Atinsky on the far side and in the end no problems for Parks the sweep was going forward by him that much. He nearly created a goal two or three minutes ago, and he's in an out, outside right position then, and he was annoyed with his colleague who took a rather silly shot at this stage of the game. Thomas. Hazard. Mighty ball after this one, but there's that sweeper again, number 10. Fort Nelson right back, the deepest man. Hopkins. Groon outside him. Good Johnson. But in the end, he ran into Roberts. Archie Gold. Free kick given. Not surprised we don't hear the whistle in this noise. Calvin. Letting fly. And Munron had to suddenly die very quickly down by the post. Getting across that turf, a good shot by Tony Galvin. But now Van der Eiken for Anderlecht. For Kauteren. <coughs> Adelius stopping him, supported by Hazard. Offside against Altibald. That's extraordinary, he couldn't have been more than two yards inside the uh, Anderlecht half. The temptation to play a through ball against sides that play offside is very, very great. But there's nobody caused the Belgians more trouble than Tony Galvin. So if they can just get it to him at every opportunity. There's for Carteron getting it through and good Johnson. Hopkins outside him. Slipped in towards Cheney Atinsky, but it was a poor one. This is only the second corner that Anderlecht have had in the whole of the game. To be taken by Frankie Fakauteren. Junior Tinsky in there. Suddenly Van der Eiken's made a break from the back, but Roberts, very, very dependable, is there again. De Grave. Good Johnson. Schifo's made the break this time. But Hewton, oh, not really getting it away very well. Shifo spraying it wide to Fakouter and the captain. And a cross coming in, and Stevens in the end. Just happy to put it behind for the corner. Beautiful weighted cross by him. Defenders have nightmares with crosses like that. Well, let's hope Spurs don't get a nightmare from this corner to be taken by Good Johnson. With about nine minutes of the first period of extra time gone. The score 1-1 tonight, 2-2 on aggregate. Here's Good Johnson with the corner for Anderlecht. Played. Well, De Gruyter's cross quite easily cut out by Cox. The flag had gone up, I think, in any case, for an offside. Danny Thomas for Tottenham. Ozier Adelis. And now Mike Hazard. Dick on the far side. Hewton's gone outside him. Crowd disappointed when he lost it there. The Carteran. Now Czerny Atinsky against Stevens. And Stevens gets it back. <laughs> Hazard. Good ball to Dick. Nothing much going for Ali Dick at the moment. <coughs> Play on. 
one, said the referee. Cheniotinsky so finds Good Johnson. Five minutes of the first period of extra time remaining. And Galvin in possession for Tottenham. Good play. Except in the end, yeah, it's a free kick. Dealers. Roberts. He's caused a bit of chaos and he's left a bit of space for Dick. But the cross wasn't quite good enough. Trying to whip in across towards Archibald. Ardiles couldn't stop that one and here's Shifo for Anderlecht. Onside. Czerniotinski again, but good defending there by Stevens. Just accelerated when he needed it. So some conferences there in the Anderlecht bench in the white raincoat. Their manager, Paul Van Himst. Galvin crossed in. Shot in the back, surely. Well, Czerny Otinsky, I think, making quite a meal of it. There's no doubt he was shoved in the back by Stevens, though. It'll be an Anderlecht free kick, and it's taken. A counter in, with Archibald after him. De Gruyter. For Johnson. Olsen. Newton getting that one away. Van der Eiken. Schiefel. Again stopped by Roberts. Well, Keith Birkinshaw was saying yesterday when he announced the side, Roberts is the captain, he's the sort of fella who drives other players on and never lets his head drop. I think it's Brother who's coming on for Anderlecht. But at the moment, it's Roberts. And the Johnson right back. A goal kick. Jackie Muller on to take it. And they're taking off Czerniotinsky. And Kruller, another Dane, comes on. I think he scored from a penalty against you, didn't he, uh, Brian, brother? But he certainly did. He'll never get a lucky one. Hazard. About a minute and a half to go to the end of the first period of extra time. Thomas, Falco, Hazard, Roberts, gathering speed, oh, taking some stopping, finds Archibald, the shot, straight at the keeper again. Such strength about the man, going past all challenges, eventually gets it to Archibald. Coming towards Brüller, but Stevens is there. Both sides now have committed themselves to their substitutes. No more allowed. Stevens within a whisker of getting through, but it just hit Grün. And now for Kauterin. Hopkins. Here's the sweeper, Olsen. Just about the first mistake he's made all night.
Hazard. Can Galvin keep it in? He can. Put some good balls tonight to Hazard. Thomas. Tiredness out there. Must be incredible at the moment. But Galvin getting that one in and Mooneron grabbing it. It was a funny little bounce there just in front of him. And the first period of extra time is over. 2-2 on aggregates. 1-1 tonight. Czerny Atinsky having put Anderlecht into the lead. Graham Roberts having scored right at the end of normal time to make it 1-1. And if in the next 15 minutes and nobody makes a mistake and we stay as we are, we go into penalties. It's Grun. That really is a totally dramatic way to win a cup and a devastatingly cruel way to lose one. Archibald. Adilis. Can Hazard get there? Thomas can. Back to Stevens. There's Olsen, the sweeper. He's the man that causes so much trouble for Spurs. And this time he's found Good Johnson. And Roberts, who's had a magnificent game at the back, gets in the way once more. And a long shot there by Grun. And I'm not sure if the goalkeeper saw it quickly enough. Young Parks wasn't quite sure about that. Hit from a long way out. For Carteron. Still anybody's UEFA Cup. And an offside against Brulla. Kick for Tottenham. Danny Thomas. Good Johnson. Didn't mean to go that way, but it did. And Spurs get possession with Hewton and now with Hazard. The counter. Shifo. Olsen. Here he comes again. And a good cross coming in, but it's not good enough. Hazard for Tottenham. Archibald trying to flick it on, but Falco just hadn't got the legs to get after it. Just himself to get a shot in. It's Ardiles jinking about there. And he's found Dick for kicks offside. Flag was up. To Johnson for Anderlecht. Morton Olsen.
just tuned in and you're not expecting to see football, let me remind you that it's the UEFA Cup final which has gone to extra time. It's 1-1 tonight, 2-2 on aggregate. And, of course, we shall be staying right to the very end. We now have, in fact, 10 minutes of extra time left. If the score stays the way they are, we shall then go into penalties to decide this final. But at the moment, it's Galvin, and he couldn't just winkle the ball through to Archibald. Galvin, in fact, is down. Whether it's cramp or whether he's got an injury, I don't know, but they've just about run themselves out. Just about all of them. Not Ali Dick, because he's only just come on. That's obstruction there by Hopkins. And it's a free kick for Tottenham. Galvin is still down. I would think already it's begun to cross the players' minds that unless this can be resolved, they're going to face this desperate business of penalties, Brian. And, and desperate is the word. It'll be an ordeal uh, to such the extent. Uh, It'll be the first time since I finished playing football if this game goes in the penalties that I'm glad I'm not a player. Well, Galvin is on his feet. And I don't think there'll be many millions watching at the moment would swap places with these players if it came to stepping up to take a vital penalty. Maybe it won't come to that. Here's a free kick which our dealers will take for Tottenham. Finds Archibald. But then De Graaf, but the whistle had gone. A free kick to Anderlecht. And certainly not from there. I certainly think our British referees have now got very much worked into their system, the ability to play an advantage which keeps a game so much more a spectacle for the public and flowing that much more, which this West German tonight really hasn't done. Thomas. Again, the Anderlecht back four are forward, and again, they've caught at least three <coughs> Tottenham front men offside. Our dealers and Falco and Dick. Nobody's done more work than him uh, that's just played that free kick running, the number 10. Does any more Olsen, running. Yes. Yeah, he'll get in the derby. An incredible amount of uh, running he's done tonight. Well, we know all about him, and Bobby Robson would certainly know all about him. He played such a big part in Denmark against England in those European Championship uh, games. And he's just signed for another year with Anderlecht. They'll be delighted about that. I want another bite at him next season. Sorry? I want another bite at this lot next season. At, against Anderlecht. Well, you've qualified for UEFA. And there's Mort Nelson. You'd like to have another bite at him. for a moment there might be a misunderstanding between Roberts and Stevens but happily for Spurs it didn't happen about seven minutes of extra time remaining if only Spurs can do it <coughs> but at the moment they face an Anderlecht free kick Spurs have never played a Belgian side in European competition before certainly remember the first one. Dick getting in and doing well, persevering and getting the ball back from Archibald, but then Hopkins was there. Ardiles concedes the free kick. And the referee allowing it to be taken quickly. It's with Schifo. And now with De Groote. Newton away, comes for Dick, oh, the pass didn't get through to Falco. That's a lazy old pass, which I think again illustrates the exhaustion that most of those players are feeling at the moment, Brian. Tiredness induced that, 
that's what happens when you get to the end of any match, never mind extra time. Tiredness induces you to do all types of things which you normally wouldn't do. Which, when you think about it, if we come to the penalties, imagine stealing yourself for that when you're physically and mentally just about exhausted. Well, there's De Groter. Thomas. They stay on side. He's picked up Annie Dick and he's offside. They haven't beaten the offside trap once, in point of fact, have they tonight? No, they, they've just played it fractionally too slowly, uh, the ball. If you, to beat an offside trap, you do it two ways. You play it first time or you play it wide. Here comes Olsen again for Anderlecht. It's got to be stopped. Played in early. Five for Counterham, but it's a goal kick for Tottenham. Five minutes of extra time remaining. 1-1 the score tonight, 2-2 the score on aggregate. A shove again and a free kick to Anderlecht. yet is that if we do come to penalties and it's beginning to look that way that the Spurs goalkeeper Tony Parks just 21 years old one of the least experienced fellas on that Tottenham side suddenly can become an absolute hero Hold it, he fought and got it back, but unfairly against Schifo, it's a free kick again to Anderlecht. The nine for the Belgian, considering he's only 18, he's lasted the pace a lot more than I thought. That's the 18-year-old Schifo. Mm. This is Archibald. And Spurs get a throw. <laughs> Tell you something else, I bet the referees thought about the penalties as well, because that's... A real problem for him, keeping players in the centre circle and keeping the score and everything else. We've thought about it as well, Brian, keeping the score and making sure we try and get it. each kick right on the button. Hey, we'll keep our fingers crossed if it gets to penalties, because we can't lose. We'll get another five million people tuning in. <laughs> right, well, let's see if it comes to that. It's Shifo at the moment for Anderlecht. And we're left with about a couple of minutes of extra time. Well, the crowd you can hear, come on you Spurs, one last big effort. So little time left now. De Graef with the header for Anderlecht. Ardelius with the touch for Tottenham. Roberts now. Galvin kept that in well. Thomas. Archibald again, but beaten by Hopkins. Newton going in. Now we did get to this one. He's got Falco waiting in the middle if he can get it across. And he's got the corner right at the end. Referee's looking at his watch. Now, can Spurs even, at this late stage, snatch the cup and avoid the business of penalties? Ali Dick with the corner. Ardeal is on the goal line. Everybody up from the back. Hit long and hard towards Galvin and Tony Galvin. A little chip back in there again towards Archibald. Is it going to be there? No, Stevens couldn't get the touch that mattered either, and they just couldn't force it home. Thomas, though, trying to get round Morton Olsen, and the referee has said there was a shove on the Anderlecht number 10. 
up and down off that bench. You can imagine the agonies they're going through. Keith Birkinshaw will certainly remember his last competitive match here. I just hope we get a chance to see that corner again because the uh, angle defenders are stationary when it's up in the air on occasions. They're not quite sure who to, who to mark and whether to go for the ball or not. Well, I think the time is just about up now. Referee's looking at linesman and at watch. Whistle is in the mouth. That's the end of extra time. And ladies and gentlemen, we now have penalties. And there are Spurs players who are flat on the ground. It's flat out there, is it? No, it's Mike Hazard. Now, what a procedure. Everybody who is not actually taking penalties has to go into the centre circle. Five penalties from each side. And the man of the moment for Tottenham, well, has got to be Tony Parks there, Ray Clements. Well, Tony Parks has benefited from a lot of advice from Ray Clements over this season. And now it's got to mean something. You saw Garth Crooks give Tony Parks a little hug of encouragement. And at the other end, Luneron is saying, I don't know whether he's calling for a stiff drink or not, but the Belgians there are saying, good luck to you, old son. Jimmy Greaves, would you fancy taking a pen yourself now? Well, he also saved a penalty in the in an earlier round of this competition against uh, Spartak Moscow that won the tie for Anderlecht. That's right. <laughs> the wrong. Actually, I've seen a couple of finals decided by penalties. Arsenal, of course, lost a cup winners' cup final against Valencia in Brussels on missed penalties. I've also seen Czechoslovakia win a European Championship in 1976 against West Germany, also on penalties. And there are times when you can hardly bear to watch. Brian Clough. First experience for me, penalties in the European competition. I'll be interested in if your camera lad can just get on the faces of the people who are standing in the centre circle who are going to take the uh, penalty, sir. Because you'll see everything mirrored in their faces. I think there'll be a few there hoping that they haven't got to take a penalty. Well, I think it's all decided now who's taking them and who yes. isn't. But if it's still level after five penalties each, it goes on until... Uh, until somebody misses and the other side score. Well, the two keepers are the key figures and Graham Roberts is going forward to take the first penalty for Tottenham. Five each side, remember. And my word, they want to make everyone count. Well, Roberts, who has scored once, will now want to give a captain's example. Graham Roberts against Jackie Mooneron. And he has scored. So that's great relief for him. Now, forward comes Morton Olsen. And he now has to put one past Tony Parks. In goes Parks. Here comes Olsen. And the keeper 
for Anderlecht has to get outside the penalty area. Boos from the Tottenham crowd. Not an easy job for the ice cool Olsen. Can he beat Parks? Saved it! What a moment and a moment for him. Now, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Five for each side, remember. Well, Tony Parks, what a moment of glory. He went the right way and pushed it away. Mark Falco now. What a psychological boost. If he can now put one past Mooner on. Now, Falco. Imagine if Tony Pass can save this one as well. It's Brewer to take it. He scored. 2-1 to Tottenham. Gary Stevens comes forward next for Tottenham. I'll tell you something. There are a few players that aren't going to watch. There may be one or two fans who dare not watch. And there may be one or two of you at home who dare not watch. But it's Gary Stevens now. Score! 3-1. The pressure still on Anderlecht. And it's the 18-year-old Enzo Schifo who comes forward now. Muneron unhappy about something. But what about this now? Now, this is a test for an 18-year-old, if ever you like. Enzo Schiffon. That's how big the goal is. But I tell you, to Schifo, it'll look about half that size, and Parks will look double his size. Now, can he do it? Yes, he can. As cool as you like. 3-2. Spurs still have the advantage. And forward now comes Steve Archibald. Keith Birkinshaw basically two successful penalty kicks away from taking the UEFA Cup final. Now, Archibald against Mooneron. What value for money tonight? Dare not miss. And he has it. So, four to two. And now, Frankie Bacouteron. The captain of Anderlecht. Looking to make it 4-3. And it'll mean... Well, let's not worry about that, what it'll mean for the moment. Let's see whether he can score and whether Parks can save. So, 4-3. It means that if little Danny Thomas can score, that'll make it 5-3, and Spurs could not be caught. Well, Van Himst, the Anderlecht manager, Murneron, the Anderlecht goalkeeper, and Danny Thomas, if he scores... Dancing for joy in the Anderlecht camp. And it's 4-3. And Graham Roberts going across to console Danny Thomas. That would have won the cup. And poor Danny. Now the Spurs crowd are shouting there's only one Danny Thomas to keep his spirits up. Well, let's see. Maybe Tony Parks will pull off another save. Good Johnson from Iceland is the man taking it. And he saved it! Spurs 
have won it! Tony Parks is the hero! Fantastic scenes here! And Keith Blackenshaw finished his career at Tottenham with a European trophy. What an unbelievable scene and what a good sporting moment there for Morton Olsen to congratulate the Spurs manager. Tony Parks with two penalty saves. What a moment. 21-year-old goalkeeper. Born in Hackney, just around the road. A Spurs fan through and through. Into the side. And there's consolation for Anderlecht. A brilliant night of dramatic football. You won't see many like that. And a nice sporting finish as well. Oh, the photographers are surrounding the Tottenham hero, Tony Parks, and no wonder. Good grief. The smile as broad as White Hart Lane. Spurs and Anderlecht both lined up now. And here comes Graham Roberts. A big cup. A beautiful smile. And Spurs have won the UEFA Cup. It's a heavy cup to carry after so much effort for Spurs right through the night. Danny Thomas, it looked like a night of disaster for him and suddenly it's a night of triumph. Mike Hazard, who's had a tremendous game in the midfield. A lap of honour, Steve Perryman lifts the cup, the Spurs captain who was out through suspension.